How to create a pop-up in WordPress pop-up maker tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building your own pop-ups in your WordPress site. Because everyone knows that providing an extra incentive for registration can be a great way for you to be able to gather more leads. And doing that with a pop-up is usually the most effective way to go on about it. Now to do this in WordPress, simply head on over to your WordPress site. And once you are in your WordPress site, you're going to click on plugins and then click on add new plugin on the left corner. Now from here, you're going to search for pop-up maker. And once you search for pop-up maker, it's going to lead you to this particular application called pop-up maker. It should be by pop-up maker as well. And then just click on install over here. Now, once you click on install, you're going to click on activate. And once you click on activate, you'll be led to the activation of your pop-up maker. Now, this is going to be your pop-up maker. You're going to click on create your first pop-up in this. Now, for this, we are just going to proceed with the basic setup and they're just going to show you some of the ways that you can get started. Now, from here, I'm going to add the name for our pop-up. This is going to be our registration pop-up. And then I'm going to add a section for register. And then after that, we have the information that we want to display. Now, within your pop-up, you can add the sales. Let's say this is going to be a sales pop-up. Sale is here. And then sale or discounts are here. I'm going to add discounts are here. And then get the latest discounts on Jane and Josh right now before our sale ends so we have that added over here and then you also have the visual and the text elements you can add media options as well below that you have the trigger so triggers can cause a pop-up to open you also have targeting display close and advance so first off you're going to set up your trigger i'm going to add a new trigger and then let's say whenever someone opens up the page i want to display my pop-up so you can add that and then you also have the cookie control for the repetitive display of a pop-up because if someone visits your website you don't want to bombard them with a pop-up over and over again you only want it to appear once you can do that and then you have your targeting so you can choose a condition let's say it's on the home page let's say only on that and i want to disable it maybe on mobile devices then after that, you have your display settings, so your default theme. Now, I want this to be applied to the default theme. And then we have the size, animation, sounds, position, advanced. Then you have the close text, so I'm going to add that. And you can also close on form submission. And you have advanced settings. Now, once you have completed your basic pop-up, you can just click on publish on the right. Now your pop-up will be created. And if you take a look at your pop-up maker right now, you will have your registration pop-up. Now this is a, you also have an example pop-up where there is a auto created pop-up. And this is going to be a simple pop-up that they create by default. And you can choose to enable this and customize this as well. They have a time delay slash auto option for this with a delay of 500 seconds. So for our particular pop-up, let's say I want to build a time delay as well. So if I go on to the registration pop-up over here and I want to go into the trigger settings, I have the on pop-up close, I want to add a new trigger, I want a time delay, and I want to, whenever someone closes the pop-up, I want to, you know, remove it. And then I want to display the pop-up right at... 90 milliseconds and then click on add over here once i've completed my changes i can go back and click on update on the right now let's open our site over here to see the effectiveness or the current presence of our pop-up so you guys can see our pop-up has now appeared and i can click on close and the pop-up is closed now you guys can see i have the registration pop-up ready and now this is what it's going to look like it's a very simple pop-up but obviously the appearance of the pop-up is not really as flush with the rest of my website so i can always go on ahead and continue the appearance you know editing the appearance of our pop-up so for that i can go into display and i want this to be a center pop-up and then after that we have the appearance the size 
and I want this to be a small pop-up. Then I also have animations, sounds, I want there to be an opening sound, or I don't like the beep sound. Maybe I like this one over here, so I'm going to go with this particular opening sound. Then the position, so I want this to be in the mid-center, and then I want this to be stackable as well as displaying the overlay like this. Now let's go on ahead and take a look again at what our pop-up looks like right now. So I'll have to open this up in a incognito window. You guys can see this is our pop-up now. It's a lot more flushed in. Obviously I can make my background a bit more translucent, you could say. So I can go back and go into my basic displays for my pop-up and customize the appearance further. So I can go into the display and let's say I have to go into appearance, the animation, sounds, positioning, and we have the fixed positioning, positioning from trigger, as well as the overlay. So I will disable the overlay. And now if I click on update, and I'll go on ahead and visit our site again to see what the overlay is going to look like. Now it has loaded up some cookies, so I would have to build from a new browser. But let's just go on ahead and visit again, Command V. And you guys can see this is what the pop-up currently looks like now. And this way you can further customize it step by step. Now this is just one pop-up. For different purposes, you can create different pop-ups. Now keep in mind on the pop-up maker specifically, you have basic pop-ups. You also have some pop-up themes that can help you as well as building a pop-up theme. So you don't have to uh, manually do everything. You can build one preset and build all of your future pop-ups upon that preset so you don't have to worry about constantly having to do all the same things over and over again for your pop-up creation. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that the free version of the pop-up maker is not going to be something you can use for registration or lead generation. So if you want to build your pop-up specifically for lead generation, in that particular case, I always recommend go with something like Ultimate Member, which is a form builder. This is a pop-up builder. So if you're looking for lead generation or gathering emails, then you need to go for a form builder instead of a pop-up builder because those enable you to collect emails as you go as well. Now, on Pop-Up Maker, you do have the option to upgrade and you have variable pricing available. You also have integrations with MailChimp, WooCommerce, and more on their premium plans. And they start at $87 per year where you can add it to one site and enable your platform integration so you can gather email and manage your email marketing as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make Make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.